originally I came to Landmark College because I was interested in studying how best to help students uh, who struggle to learn, particularly in maths and sciences. And uh, Landmark College offers a great opportunity to work with very talented students who typically don't do well in a traditional classroom environment. I'm Brahim Das from Hockey. So my name is Alicia Keating. My name is Bobby Christopher. My job has varied. I originally started out as an office assistant, but now I do research, so. I'm the director of the Landmark College Institute for Research and Training. I design behavioral experiments for LSERT. Uh, and our goal here at uh, LSERT is to explore the best ways to teach the student population. So. Uh, we have a few uh, projects sponsored by the National Science Foundation. One of the projects is called Revealing the Invisible, or RTI. And this project is a collaboration between us here at Landmark College, uh, our collaborators at Turk, and MIT. And the idea behind this collaboration is can we use uh, game data and neurocognitive measures to get better insight into the learning process in, a, in an open-ended science game? Can we use measures like eye tracking and integrate those with data streams coming out of the game to get a better understanding of which students succeed in the science game, why they're successful, and how that knowledge might inform their performance on other assessments? We've been able now to integrate the eye tracking data streams very tightly with the, um, with the game streams down to the millisecond level. Uh, and that's been quite a big technical challenge for us uh, that we've finally overcome. Uh, so one very important element of uh, our research is to really try to draw students into the research process, not only as participants, but as researchers as well. I feel like I get the chance at LSERT to um, be a part of um, experiments that I wouldn't be able to at other colleges. So we're very excited about the potential to be able to take these tools into the wild, so take them into the classroom, take them outside a lab setting. So there's, there's a lot of methodological challenges and technical challenges uh, that need to be tackled to take this type of analysis out into the field, but we're very excited about that possibility. If we have a better understanding of um, learning and how to measure it, we can then build a more effective feedback mechanism so that the game can adapt based on that outside data and help students improve their learning.